Yo, welcome back to the Nerds with Glasses podcast, your number one gaming podcast on YouTube. I am your host, Knowledge. And I'm Javi. Uh, last, well, this week on Thursday, it was something kind of interesting happened. Uh, one of my friend's uh, relatives is actually a fan of the show. Yeah. Or I guess a fan of the channel. Not, I don't fan know. of the channel, yeah. yeah. So my friend uh, hit me up and said if he was visiting from Canada. Uh -huh. His name is Gino. What's up, Gino? Shout out to Gino. Shout out to Gian, the, my, my friend who's... His relative, yeah. Shout <laughs> but, out to Gino, man. Yeah. So he came down and they, were, they they live nearby. So before they left to go back to Canada, they asked if they can come and get a picture. <laughs> which you were here and I was at my house. And yeah. that's where my, my friend, he knows me. So yeah. that's where he went to go visit me. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it would have been great if we could have gotten, a, you know, two pictures. But you you were busy that day. You couldn't come by. Yeah. Whatever. But it was really cool. It was a, I mean, it's kind of a weird thing. I, I'm not, I, I was just like... This is kind of weird, yeah. you know? But I cool, didn't know that. I mean, yeah. It was, really, yeah, it was awesome. At the I same know. time, while being really weird, it was really awesome. Just because I'm not, in my head, I'm I still not that. And, you yeah. know, granted, this is this is one person, you know? Yeah. And, but if it's ever been, if it's ever going to be more than that, it's going to be really weird, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it's really awesome. We really appreciate that people like the channel enough mm -hmm. that you're like, oh, Gamer's Little Playground. Yeah. Cool. So, I guess... I don't know. It's like, just I don't like, even like taking pictures, but I was like, yeah. <laughs> okay. I have to take a picture. <laughs> okay. But yeah, just a cool little story for us. We're, we're really happy about that, you know? <laughs> yeah, so again, shout out to Gino from Canada. <laughs> That's right. All right, so Nerds with Glasses podcast. This week, first thing, Cloud My, Strife. Yes. Legendary Final Fantasy character. One of the most recognizable characters in yes, gaming. Yes, one of the top like like 30 let's yeah say. yeah 30 definitely like definitely. he's not you know what i mean it's like he's not of, mario or, no or pac-man no but he is up there like he is at least for me when i think of final fantasy that's what i think of. and i think a lot of people uh especially my generation that's the, like that's the final fantasy that we know started it all you yeah know? yeah for us i mean i mean there was there was ones before that but that's the one like a lot of yeah. my generation knows like yeah that's yeah that's the one where it became like a, a popular thing mm -hmm. for us final fantasy for me too yeah my generation too like i, I didn't even know about final fantasy until that it was mm -hmm. like what part seven yeah <laughs> where are the rest yeah where are the, i never heard of these uh, but you know so cloud mm -hmm. strife is coming to smash brothers for the wii u for and the wii u. 3ds which is uh i don't think anyone expected that we had the ballot a couple times I, like how many times do I gotta vote for Master Chief? Like you, how many accounts can I make before Master it. Chief? <laughs> yes, but anyways, there's there's been like people were thinking uh, I, I can't pronounce her name, but there's an indie game with like kind of like a like a genie style character that okay. she looks. Shovel Knight was a big one. People yeah. were thinking, uh, you know, there's a bunch of other people, and this kind of just like came out of nowhere. I don't know yeah. if he was even on the like. You know, I'm just, you know, I, dude, I'm, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people would have voted for him, no, no doubt about that. But yeah. you know, the list they put out of yeah. characters that we might see, yeah. I don't remember seeing him on there. Yeah, no, yeah, I remember the list of characters where there was like these are the ones you might expect because there's other characters that you just knew wouldn't get on. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you're not gonna get Master Chief, mm -hmm. you're not gonna, but yeah, Cloud Strike was like, wow, what the hell? Uh, you know? technically, technically, he has been in Nintendo games, but not really, like. Not his own game. I think he was. It was. He was a character in in a game. Um, it's like I don't know what it's called, but it's like a like a miniature version of himself. It's like little dolls. It looks like I I've never played exactly. Never played it, and if I'm not mistaken, I, I'm assuming he was in the Kingdom Hearts. I don't remember. I didn't play fully um, the the but that's not a, drop. But that's not a. Oh, I oh I see what you're saying. Yeah, on the DS. Yeah, yeah, yeah on okay, the DS. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I mean I don't know if he's maybe that's different. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's different. That's obviously but he different. hasn't had his like you know there hasn't been like a Final Fantasy like yeah. game with him in it. Yeah. Or a Final Fantasy game I guess in general besides a uh, Crystal Chronicles if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah. It's a it's a I think it's a big step in like bringing these companies together because we we're talking about I wonder what's gonna happen with. Uh, what was it? The remake. Final. Oh, Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII, Final the remake. Yeah. Remake. You know. And then, this is like they're coming up with. Soon we're gonna get more information about Final Fantasy XV. Yeah. We're hopefully gonna get more information about maybe even a trailer for Final Fantasy VII the remake. Yeah. Because I mean, people, we don't know what to expect for the remake yet. We got as far that, as like gameplay. Exactly. I mean, we got the we got the cinematic teaser, yes. which was great. Mm -hmm. but 
But yeah, I mean, I I thought it was it was an interesting choice. Uh, I guess I I don't know. They're, maybe they're fan, they're probably fans of everybody's a fan of. Smash yeah, I'm Brothers. sure Sakurai. You yeah. know, I'm sure he's one of the main people that has a say in what characters come in. Yeah. Besides the legal department and Nintendo. But I'm saying you know? vice versa too, mm -hmm. because oh, I, okay. cause I mean I remember with Solid Snake, it was Kojima was just a huge fan. True. Of Smash Brothers. You know, and like, it's like, please, like, I don't care if we make zero money, just put, put <laughs> Very sad in there. that he's not one of the people already in the cast. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it's, man, I, I, I was surprised by it, but still Master Chief, man. It would've been, that would've been <laughs> yeah, the one. But this is, this is, a lot of people are also looking at this, besides like, um, you know, the characters that could come in, which we'll talk about a little bit, but I just want to talk about like, what does this mean for the Nintendo Square Enix relationship? Yeah. Like, the, like you know, the, the NX is something coming up recently. Yeah. And I highly doubt ever we would see, like, Final Fantasy XV or the Final Fantasy VII remake on the Wii U. Yeah. But it's possible with the NX, and maybe this is kind of like a sign of maybe there's... Maybe there... I mean, it could be nothing, but maybe there is something there. Yeah, because as far as we know, what's Nintendo's reason for bringing the NX is, is to bring the hardware up to par <laughs> with the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. So, like you said, on the Wii U, it'd be too much to, to port it over. Like, you would have had to take so much out of the game, it, it wouldn't be worth it. Mm -hmm. But with the NX... We still we don't know the hardware. Right, yeah, exactly. We have no but idea what the hardware rumors is. Rumors are it's more powerful than current consoles. I'm assuming it it should be just based on how fast technology changes. Like a graphics card that cost five hundred dollars last year, this year can you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. just just it changes so much. It's already been two years since those came out, and really like four or five years since they were being developed. So you, you figure like. At a cost-effective price, they can jump back in right. into like the into the hardware section race and still be creating amazing Nintendo games. And if right now there's a lot of like people kind of salty uh -huh. about the Wii U and Nintendo Me? in general, <laughs> yeah. so if they were able to secure this, like I think maybe not you specifically. No, it, it could be like a you know like a uh, what's it called like a peace offering? A peace offering. Yeah. yeah I forgot what but there's another word people oh, use. I, I forgot what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> but like I mean it, it maybe not be something you an olive branch, sorry. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. I mean cuz I know you like these games but it maybe not it wouldn't be enough to get like you know to it wouldn't be a, a good enough olive branch, you know what I mean? Well, I mean to to me what what I would like about that, it, it means that the main issue with the Nintendo's consoles the past couple generations has been that they don't have any third party support. Mm -hmm. So to me, that's a sign of them saying it's like we're we're reaching out and right. trying to get third party and support. That would that would bring in like so many people that, especially with Final Fantasy VII, spe uh -huh. like specifically, I'm a lot of people that play Final Fantasy VII. Are probably Nintendo like fans just because of the, the oh, age group they yeah, are. Yeah, you know? yeah. So this would definitely bring them back if they kind of like, kind of like feel cheated by the Wii U. Yeah, yeah. And I definitely like I, I've said it many times is if the next comes out next year, they just fucked everybody who bought a Wii U because you still haven't had a Mario game. You still haven't had a Zelda game, like a main title, on mm -hmm. on the console. And you no. already have Smash Brothers. But yeah, I want one for the next now. You know. Yeah, what I, mean? I mean, like you're you're gonna see Smash Brothers like late into mm -hmm. the next yeah. now. But I guess if it's backwards compatible, which most of their consoles have so, been, at least the first exactly. series of them. So like, if it's backwards compatible and has third party support, and they release like Zelda and Mario on the next as launch titles then you're you're back in the game you know what i mean like yeah. you're back in the game but if you didn't have that third party supporter backwards compatibility i'd be like you know what fuck you <laughs> like you know i'm not buying this yeah. shit and you, speaking of th well i bought every single nintendo console i bought almost every handheld except for the ones that i wasn't born for. well i haven't bought the handhelds yeah but exactly I so, see so i'm in the i'm in the other boat yeah you bought all I, the consoles yeah i would whenever i think the game boy pocket was already out yeah but i had that too and i had the original i just didn't buy them yeah but uh i i've had at least one of every single generation yeah like yeah. i have had an advanced sp game boy color the <laughs> old nintendo actually the only the ds is the, the old ds is the only one i haven't had mm. damn that's that was probably the best one too <laughs> yeah the, the, the big one yeah yeah like i like the also, light i love the light. Oh, of course it was of course every single mm. one after is better but yeah, i mean yeah. like at the time really like, yeah Man, i, I didn't have i was so like yeah. that was that was probably one of the most disappointing things as 
in my like life, in, not, <laughs> in my gaming life. I, I, I know I was about yeah, to say in your, my, your life, gaming my gaming life, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. Because I've had all, I had every single handheld, and I did, I wasn't able to get that. Yeah. Until the the light came out. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I, I I've owned every single main console. For and sure. I've had every console, I guess after. Well, except I don't have a Wii U yet, but I've had the. I guess the only console I had was the Wii and GameCube. Uh, that's, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's see, it. I've had the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, the 64, the GameCube, the Wii, the Wii U. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't think I'm missing anything. Yeah. So I mean, like it, it's it's one of those like customers like me for them. It's like you can't lose people like me because people well, like we're hurt. Yeah, like people <laughs> like me have bought every single one of your fucking consoles and like and a lot of your games and like a lot of your every games. Every Smash Brothers, every Mario Kart, <laughs> every Zelda, like I've owned it all. Like I was big Nintendo fanboy mm-hmm. growing up. I you know I, I hated fucking PlayStation. I hated Genesis. And eventually we really? bought a Genesis. Okay. But it's like you're like, no nah, man, Super Nintendo, that's that's where it's Yeah, see, see, yeah. I wasn't I guess I was more my my generation's more than sixty four and Sega. Yeah. So that's what I remember. But I had the Sega because sixty four was too much. <laughs> yeah, well I mean it's, I we eventually got a Sega too, mm. you know. And then eventually and the drink I, I love the Dreamcast too. But I mean right. I'm just saying when you're a little boy you're just mm-hmm. like, Yeah, fanboy like you just love <laughs> All right. So like this could be a big step, right? Hopefully, and maybe it's just one of those For Nintendo. Yeah, yes. maybe it's just a small step. I mean, mm-hmm. we're probably looking too much into it, but uh, okay. I mean, that's know. what we do. That's the point. <laughs> but okay, so along with that, we were talking about third party, and for Smash Brothers, that could be really good because they have you know Pac Man, Mega Man, which isn't. I guess that is that is a third party. Yeah. Um. I guess. I'm trying to think of who else in the roster right now. In the main game, well, they have Street Fighter. But oh yeah, still... they have Ryu now. With third party. Yeah, but that's still that's still Capcom. I mean, right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. But I'm just saying. So, the, but seeing as someone like Cloud, I mean, maybe we could we'll see Snake come back too. You know. Yeah. But it it could open the door for like I mean maybe not Master Chief, but you know a lot of people have been wanting characters like Banjo Kazooie. Rayman and Rayman has his own trophy in the well, game. Well, you know what? Here, here's my question though: Is er, I'm trying to think of every kind of little crossover they've done. They seem like they're all Japanese companies, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know I how. Yes. You know, I'm I'm wondering how much there is between because you know there is a little between the Japanese and American markets right. and developers. There's a little, <laughs> you know. I remember when they interviewed um. Was it Bethesda or Bioware? It was one of those two, and they were asking them about... Oh, it was Bethesda, because they were talking about Skyrim. It, would it ever see it, you know, its way onto the Wii or any Nintendo console or the Wii U? Like, would they make a new game and, and would they, you know, port it over to the Wii U? And he was like, you know what? No. <laughs> like, he straight up said no, because he's like, they don't show us the respect. Like, they, to, to let us into the development cycle, like... They just release the Wii U and then they tell people, oh, uh, you know, here's our console, figure out how to make a game of it. And it's like, that's not how it works. You know, Microsoft and Sony both let us in years beforehand, let us know what their what their hardware is going to be and like and keep us in, mm-hmm. in you know, in, in Wait, the discussions. Wait, both Sony and? Yeah, both Sony. So, so, I mean, like, Sony's Japanese, too, but I'm saying... Like, Nintendo, uh, specifically. Nintendo, specifically. I mean, Sony, too. I mean, there, there's probably some friction between American... You know, like, I imagine. But uh, what I'm saying in general is just that, yeah, Nintendo, in particular, seems to just leave people out of the loop. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and in particular, probably American companies, they probably just... N- not that they hate them or anything, or maybe there's just a communication that they haven't set Overseas, up. Overseas, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like... There's a, there's some sort of a rivalry there going okay. on, so yeah they don't want the compet- they don't want the competition like that yeah. I guess I don't know but, <laughs> but yeah but like we were saying maybe we'll see more characters that we don't expect you know well that's not, that's what I'm saying I don't think we'll see Master Chief well you no know, exactly yeah. yeah but maybe other Japanese characters <laughs> <laughs> if you want to if we see Master Chief then we know we're, they're really they're really breaking yeah them. like someone like I mean granted Bayonetta is now on the Wii U but maybe we'll see Bayonetta even though Zero Suit kind of like they made her to kind of mm. be like I don't know They it just seems like they try to some like appeal to like the bayonetta with the boots and whatever. Yeah. But maybe they'll start adding just more characters, which would be which would be cool. I mean, I want them to add back Snake. Yeah. I want them to add uh, someone like, uh, I guess like Rayman. Someone would, like someone like Rayman would be fucking perfect. Yeah, for exactly. Smash like, um, and that would be awesome. I mean, I do want to see some of these also uh, indie games hopefully get a character because 
I mean, a lot of people are saying that that might be the next kind of characters that are coming in. Yeah. But we don't know if they're really, like, pushing for that. Because I know Shovel Knight actually got an amiibo. Yeah. You know? So I was like, oh. So a lot of people were thinking that he was going to be the character they announced. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, which yeah. I don't think that many people were hurt, <laughs> you know, like yeah. they're mad about it. I'm sure there was a lot because yeah. he is another sword user. Yeah. But it'd be cool to see like a lot of the indie character, indie games that are very s- strong right now make their way into the roster. I think I think what you will see first before that though is like Splatoon, probably. You know, I, I mean I don't know what the characters are. You know, I, I know they're mean. like human octopuses, like they can transform into octopuses. There you go. So, I mean, that's that's what it might be. I, I, I see that first. Okay. You know, but we'll see. We'll yeah. see. But anyways, uh, the holiday season is almost over for games. Obviously, we're still coming up on the holidays. You know? <laughs> still got Thanksgiving. No, it is Christmas. over. <laughs> but like, I think that the majority of like new AAA games that are gonna that we're gonna come out have come out. The only thing really left right now is Rainbow Six. Uh, the Siege and Just Cause 3. I think that's... Um, the more I'm looking at it, I feel like that's more of a niche game now. Yeah, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to play it Rainbow Six. It looked really cool in the trailer. It looked... The first trailer was one of the best trailers mm-hmm. I've ever seen but, for any game. you know, you have a team actually communicating like it's... Like... Yeah. Like voice actor professional. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it'd be cool if actually while you're playing the game, your characters talk like that, but there's no way. You know what I, mean? I don't know. Like I, I'm telling you, I played it at E3 and it sucked. Like it was not ready. To well, be... yeah, it was not ready. Though. It was technic. It was tech. It technically sucked. Not that the game itself, like the design decisions or anything, sucked. But like the actual running of it was laggy as hell. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't a Hello fact Chief. that the game is bad. It's yeah. just that they didn't have whatever version of it they had. They shouldn't have put it out. Yeah, at and all. and to me that says. A lot of bad, you know, it's just like, why would, you know, why would you even have it there? Yeah, like, put it, you know, put it on the PC if it's going to run the best there. Don't put it on the Xbox One. Mm -hmm. Shit. (laughs) (laughs) But anyways, the holiday, holiday games have come out. So I wanted to talk about just what have been your favorite games this holiday and which ones have been big disappointments. Okay. So, like, we're talking about Fallout 4, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Halo 5, Black Ops 3, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, Need for Speed, Need for Speed, Battlefront, WWE, all those, all those games have come out okay. in this holiday season. All right, for sure, Halo was multiplayer wise, it's awesome, but overall the game is no Forge, no, no like real ver- ver- variety, variety to the custom games right now because yeah. of no Forge or anything. Yeah, you know? so that's kind of disappointing. Very sad that I always have to run a. Auto assault rifle, <laughs> you yeah, know, like yeah. only I think big big team battle you can actually have the BR. It's all is your secondary. I haven't, I haven't played. Yeah, it yet. so it's your secondary as far as I can tell. But yeah. I don't like big team that much. Especially I hate by big myself. team. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not even gonna play big team. <laughs> I've always hated big team. I hate vehicles. I just yeah, want just wait player, next stream. Player. Next stream we're gonna play big team. Oh god, yeah, <laughs> just because that's the biggest one, you know. Yeah. Um, Black Ops Three, I didn't get into. Uh, just haven't yet. Uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I played and finished that game. was really good. Yeah. Uh, I didn't like. I didn't even know that it didn't have co-op. I just assumed that it was gonna have co-op because Unity did, yeah. which was a little bit disappointing because that that adds a lot of replayability to it. Yeah. But I like the story and I I really like the way the characters were moving in this one because I really didn't like Unity. It was slow. Unity? Yeah. Yeah, Unity was felt just too slow. Your character ran slow. And I like the dynamic of the two characters. The, the, they fought differently depending on the weapon you gave them. Yeah. And they just felt different as well. Yeah, they definitely did feel different. Mm-hmm. And they were both very charismatic. Like, I like both Evie and uh, Jacob. Jacob. Yeah. You don't even remember his name. He's charismatic. No. <laughs> I was about to say it. No, I was about to say it. I was about to say it. I haven't played Rise of the Tomb Raider, but that's something I'm still looking forward to it's playing good. to. It's good. It's good. Um, it's good. It's good. It's good. The it's Taken good. King, obviously. Granted, it's Destiny, Wait a and that's minute. all I've been playing. <laughs> Holiday so, season, <laughs> so that's all I've been playing though. So I can't How really. How did that like, game come up? That's uh, not a game. It's an expansion. <laughs> Battlefront wasn't too like I, I didn't like it too much. It's a yawn fest. It's a yeah, bore fest. I mean, I know a lot of people will like it, but it's it's, it's like fun, and then it's just like okay, mm-hmm. there's nothing else to do. Here. You really like Fallout? Fallout's really fucking mm-hmm. good. It's it's simultaneously the 
It's simultaneously one of the best games I've ever played and one of the buggiest pieces of shit I've ever played. But you haven't played other Bethesda games that much. Yeah, I mean, and that, that's the main thing is... The games are huge. Look, I like I understand it's buggy, and I, at the end of the... See, I've gotten in arguments with this with people on the comments who are just like, this... Like, I'm tired of people supporting this game. This, the, you know, this is terrible. Zero out of ten. Remember, I'm, it was a big... It, on Metacritic, it had like 4.5 out of ten. Fallout? Yeah, oh. like not from you know, the from, from users. From users, of course. Users, and so I think there is a lot of uh, blind fi- fanboyism going on. There's the fanboyism of of people who hate the hype and just want to hate the game. You know right. what I mean? And any little thing is just as. And then there's the people who are just like, it's the best, greatest, greatest, greatest game of all time. Look, at the end of the day, I beat the whole game. I put seventy hours into the game. You restarted it, or not restarted? But, but you went back very far in saves yeah, yeah. multiple times multiple times and although i was a little frustrated especially because i was playing it kind of on the pressure cooker of just like <laughs> i needed to get it done yeah you're not used to it anymore yeah, <laughs> you're like you, you're like this is supposed to take me 30 hours yeah, I like, spent seven why is this taking so long <laughs> if it was me or the or mariano doing it you would have been like what are you guys doing yeah, hurry <laughs> just finish <up>. the game <laughs> but then you're playing it like you're you know you're, you're looking at it like through your yeah, or like not artistic, but like the the editor's yeah, eyes yeah, editor's of like, like this game movie has to be good. Yeah, and, and so, it was crazy because this that game we didn't even know we were gonna do a game movie. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure about it, but the new camera angles because before uh, in Fallout Three it was like you talk to somebody, you didn't talk, and it was just a camera on them, and they look really weird because mm-hmm. you just be like. And you can actually <laughs> change camera, like you can like go third person and first person. Yeah, I'm mistaken. there's there's a dynamic camera that makes mm-hmm. it more cinematic. But anyways, point being, the thing about Fallout is, at the end of the day, but you know, even though I had all the bugs, I still wanted to play it. Mm-hmm. And so to me, at the end of the day, that's what makes a good game. I can't describe. Mm-hmm. Really to say like this is what makes it good. This is what makes it good. I'm just telling you, I just wanted to keep yeah. playing it. So like would, obviously something's yeah. good about it. You if know? you would have played Skyrim, I think you would have had the exact same thing. Yeah, it was really buggy. It was no, it was really buggy. I guess some parts like you know there was just some parts, but overall like no, I'm saying like the good game like you, you yeah you know, like you would have been addicted. Yeah, no, I'm sure everybody mm-hmm. who and I say that about all good RPGs. It's like you need to give it five hours. Five hours and. and of boring just boring mm, yeah like five like not like it's somehow still fun yeah. but it's somehow really boring it's boring because you don't have anything you're still discovering the world you're understanding how to play mm-hmm. that's how all rpgs are and but i think i think especially if they have like a crafting or anything yeah like, oh. all those systems are confused like i didn't understand the, the system for crafting on i was like what i don't get it like just, I don't just give me the gun yeah like i just want to shoot <laughs> like, things like, you know and of course a lot of hardcore fallout fans will argue that it's it's uh too much like fallout 3 and then they took out all the rpg elements and you know what fine you, if you guys are old school rpg or, or, or fallout fans fine I get it, but I've never played a Fallout game. It was good to me. Don't bash me because I like the game. I like the game. Yeah. I'm I'm not sorry about it. Yeah. Like you know. Like, so yeah. So I mean. So a lot of the games were. Pre- I mean. Halo. Okay. So for me, mm-hmm. I Fallout was really good. Um, oh yeah. So I like Fallout, but it's definitely like like he said. Like um, I haven't gotten far enough in it to where I'm playing it all the time. Yeah. I'm still like kind of in the beginning stages, and I'm like I'm playing it, but I'm just like very much at my own pace not trying yeah. to rush through it in the beginning yeah. um so yeah so halo was good to me as well story was a little disappointing multiplayer is godlike it's really <laughs> good forge is coming next month so mm-hmm. hopefully that that will you know spice up the variety to it black ops 3 is good but <laughs> Like I don't know, it's just it, there's something about it to me right now where it's, it's such like, a good formula that it's good, you know, but yeah. it's not good. Yeah, like it, there's nothing that's like oh I have to play Black Ops Three. I don't know, like, and I'm a big Call of Duty fan. Again, I don't give a shit if you hate Call of Duty every year. I like Call of Duty most except of the Ghost. time, except Ghosts and Advanced Warfare was iffy. But I'm saying like I'm I'm not gonna just blindly like fuck Call of Duty. <laughs> like if it's good that year, it's good. If it sucks like Ghosts. 
and kind of sucks like Advanced Warfare, then it kind of sucks, <laughs> you know. But yeah, it was it's uh, Black Ops Three is good, but it, I don't know, it's not drawing me in. Maybe I'm just getting older. Yeah, you know, um, Need for Speed them. sucks. Really, I was, like, actually wanted to play it, but at the same time, I didn't. It's well, okay, like actually the the. The thing that sucks to me, like the actual engine and the racing is fun. Customization is great. I think Card Nuts will love it. But the story is terrible. Now, if you don't care about the story, fine. The racing. <laughs> the racing is fun, but it's it's rubber band racing. Like, you know how they catch up to you. Oh, I hate that. Like, but it's very arcade, like not, like it's like like the older Need for Speed. Or not. Yeah, in a, in a way it is, but... The rubber band that kills it to me. Like I, I hate that. Like yeah, I guess that's true. But at the same time, I don't want to just always be lapping the person. You know what I mean? Well, they they need to make they get a harder difficulty yeah. or something. You know what I mean? Like for something like for Mario Kart, it makes sense because like you have stupid power ups anyway. Yes. So that makes sense. But like it when it's something like this, where it's kind of they don't know if they're going for really realistic and they're going for arcade. Yeah, it's like pick one. Like which <laughs> one do you want? You know. <laughs> Because if it's arcade, it needs to be like more explosions and shit going on, you know. That was a disappointment. But yeah, holiday season, I would say like the, the best game overall for me so far is just, it has to be Halo 5. Fallout would probably be it, but it is, a it's buggy. And like I have my save corrupt two or three times mm. and that's not fun. <laughs> like, that's what? fucking frustrating. That's not fun for you? <laughs> That's that. That's the one bug that I can't live with. You yeah, know, like, like I can, I can, I don't mind if my character gets stuck and I have to reload a save. But yeah. if my save is corrupt and I have to go back a previous save. Yeah, yeah, and like, if, or if your previous save is also corrupt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, no, that's bullshit. So they need to fix that shit. But I don't know. Yeah, if your character like fucking goes through a wall, whatever. I don't like. Sure, it breaks the immersion, but like, I'm not. You know, it's not a huge deal. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other games you had in mind? Not. That's it. All right. Great holiday season. Mm. Well, maybe Just Cause Three might. Um. That's been a game that I can play for like thirty minutes just to fuck around, but I can't. Yeah. Play the whole story. Uh, Just Cause Two. Yeah. Well, uh, Just Cause in general. I think I played the first one, but I, like I played it at a friend's house and it didn't interest me enough. Yeah, that one's pretty old too. That oh, is like, it? Or maybe it was Just Cause Two. I don't know. Yeah, because Just, just Cause Two came out on, on the three sixty. Okay. Speaking oh, okay. of the 360, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's the it's the 10 year anniversary of when the 360 was released. 10 years, 10 for years one ago. I've been seeing a lot of articles around talking about the 360. Uh, I don't know. I wanted to take a time to reflect on what the legacy will be in the long run mm -hmm. for the 360. It had a lot of highs and a lot of lows mm -hmm. too. Um, so I don't know. In general, like, what do you when you think of the 360? What do you what do you think back to? What are your? Tell me what your fondest memories are. Oh, you got it late. Too. I got it very, very late. Um, I was actually my, most of my friends. I think actually played the PS3. Uh huh. But it was a lot of single player games. We did play Modern Warfare One, the first COD Four. Yeah. That was that that game we did play a lot of on there. Yeah. But and then I remember my some of my friends got a 360, and I don't know something about it just clicked better. It just felt better. Something felt better. Yeah, I would agree. I think, I don't know, to me, I was, I got the 360 in 2008, I think. Mm -hmm. So it was three years after it initially came out. Halo, that's what I remember. <laughs> Halo, yeah, 3. Halo, Halo, Halo 3. Halo 3 specifically. Yeah, I was hooked. I was hooked on Halo 3. Like, it was just it was the most addicting fucking game I ever played. Yeah. And it, until I played Modern Warfare right. 2. <laughs> yeah, for me, it was a uh, VIP. It was people in the, like, because was I just remember one game. I just didn't care about anyone on the other team i was just hunting down the mm. vip and i killed them like maybe like 10 times or yeah. whatever i forgot what it was i just remember people in the chat were like mr it was my friend's account and his mm. his account was mr cookie bones they were like mr the cookie bones let's go <laughs> you know and then i would be vip and i'd fuck it up because i just like i don't i don't want to hide yeah <laughs> i want to do damage <laughs> Yeah, dude, it, the 360 was, a, I think, one of the best consoles ever made. I think in the long run, when people look back, I think it's going to be in the top five of people's consoles. And, of course, people still to this day argue, like, is the PS3 or the Xbox 360 better? I own both consoles. I don't use my PS3 ever, <laughs> like, unless I'm playing the new God of War. Well, you know, back then, you know. Yeah. 
the you know the Last of Us or you know just those cool for exclusives. But other than that, if I was gonna play online gaming, I was playing Call of Duty, Halo, Gears of War on the 360, and I think that that's gonna be the legacy of it. It it, it brought the it was it brought online gaming as a viable thing on consoles. Halo 2 started that on the original Xbox and then that really took it off. Of course the PS2 also had SOCOM which was really popular online but that was a lot harder because you had to buy the mm -hmm. you actually had to buy the the, the, adapter. The, the adapter yeah like the the LAN adapter mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah but of course we Wait, can't we can't we can't <laughs> yeah like you, they, they didn't come built in with LAN you know right yeah um but of course, you can't talk about the 360 without talking about the Red Ring of Death, <laughs> <laughs> which is the infamous the infamous Red Ring. And I've had Red Ring of Death Xboxes too. So I, you never went through that. No, right? I, I didn't have one. You came in so I, late. I came in. I got the black slim one. <laughs> well, no, no. Yeah. Well, the good black slim one, not the yeah. crappy black slim one, because there's one that's really just bad i don't like it at all no i boy i mean they're but they were all they wouldn't have they wouldn't fuck up yeah no these part. yeah they wouldn't they wouldn't have yeah they were they're all, all the slims were like probably like one percent fail rate or something like that i think the the original batch of xboxes of, of 360s had like a 60 percent fail rate after like you know yeah, yeah. Uh, it's one of those things in my head is like so they they put the red light because they there's a chance they know there's a chance the thing will fail like yeah oh, that's so like just don't, no but because don't sometimes that, yeah. no but like yeah because sometimes there's just errors where like oh you need to put your hard drive in right 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 and it'll right. tell you the error but it's like oh no like <laughs> it's dead um you know it's crazy i was actually i was reading an article about it about they said that why the xbox 360 dominated the last decade of course some people were like it didn't dominate the last decade <laughs> you know fuck that okay okay. Lo I, le okay let's say it didn't dominate the gaming yeah but it did dominate the online gaming oh yeah for sure let's just go with that so people and even though ps3 had free online even then even still please don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the argument they always make but you know some interesting facts from this article which i wanted to bring up for the 10 year anniversary was one the only reason they started even making the original xbox was because they saw the PS2 like, and their the, mind was blown. Yeah, they're like the. They're like PC gaming is done. Yeah. According to the article. Yeah. So like Bill Gates and all of the big heads were worried that the PS2 was gonna be so popular that it was gonna knock and off strong. Huh? And because I mean, because they weren't worried about it before. I'm assuming because you know graphically they, they didn't have anything compared to PC. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And now the here comes PlayStation Two if like. I mean, compared to PC, probably not as good, but they're like, oh shit. Whoa, yeah. you can do that. Yeah. Like, can, are, are you guys looking at this? Like, we make sure we're better than this, right? Yeah, like, we're good, we're good. No. <laughs> and remember, PS1 was a massive success, mm -hmm. right? So they were like, PS2 is going to be a massive success and it's going to take over the gaming market. For, from PC. And PC, and that's Microsoft. So they, they decided that if consoles are going to take over the PC market, we have to take over the console market. Mm -hmm. And so they went in there and they pretty much rushed to make the Xbox. And all in all, like it wasn't a successful console, but it wasn't a failure either. Mm -hmm. It was good enough for them to, to merit to make the Yeah, the, 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 the Xbox uh, section of Microsoft. Yeah. You know? And so like they actually, reading the article, they actually lost during the for the, from the Xbox, they the lost original. the original Xbox. They lost four billion dollars. How much did they yeah. lose off the 360? I remember you were telling me. Um. Oh well, that okay. They, one, one at billion. the end of the day, in the article, they talked to the guys, and they're like, at the end of the day, the 360 was super profitable. It was extremely profitable, but with the red ring stuff, after all these consoles started red ringing, red ringing. And then they decided that they had to extend the warranty, otherwise they were gonna lose their, customers. their customers. And so, in order to do that, it cost them eleven billion dollars to fix. to fix all the Xboxes. So people would send them in, they would fix them, you know, send like. Them back. So they, yeah, they they lost eleven billion dollars just fixing mm -hmm. the red ring. But it was worth it to them to keep the customers. Yeah, and then, and for the most part, 
Like, I remember, that's the thing, like, it was so fun and addicting that people, like, they still wanted their Xbox, you know? <laughs> like, they still, they wanted to get it back, or they yeah. bought another one. So, you know, it, at the end of the day, it was it was a smart decision on their part, mm-hmm. because, yeah, I think they would have lost a lot of right. customers. And then, I think you also, I don't know if it was for the Xbox, the old one, the, the first one, or the 360, that the graphics card uh-huh. was... Yeah, the graphics, yeah, the graphics card for the 360, they at said... At the beginning, at the beginning when it came out it was so advanced that you had to they said in the article at least that yeah you would is... have to you you would have to wait a year in 2006 mm-hmm. in order to get a graphics card that was even comparable right you and know? i forgot did you say that they were they kind of were underselling their that one or was that the xbox original both they on every single console other than the nintendo's mm-hmm. Since the PS2, like all those, every single console sells at a loss, you know, because they 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 have to have the best hardware, but they, it's really like like the PS3, they were selling them for like what six hundred dollars. They were losing three hundred dollars per console. Like it actually cost them like nine hundred dollars to build these consoles. But of course, they understand that you don't make the money on the hardware, you make the money on the software, you know, and especially the way that. The 360 especially ushered in a more digital age. Like they understood that they were focusing on services and digital content and selling peripherals too and all that. All, all, all yeah, they, they understood they, that they make so money. much money on peripherals. Yeah, a controller. Like I don't know how much it costs to make, but I'm sure it's not sixty five dollars each. Oh no, yeah. I imagine it has to cost them like ten to fifteen dollars. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's the same thing with with the games, like. Sure, it costs them multi millions of dollars to develop, but like the actual, yeah, like I, the I, actual I, disc probably cost them like fifty cents. Yeah, I remember, like, <laughs> there's a well, the lead singer of uh, System of a Down uh-huh. had his went solo for a little bit for one CD, and he did everything on the album pretty much. He had a few people come in, whatever. But uh, he was basically kind of like had this kind of like behind the scenes where he was every character in the scene, and he was his own like record producer. He's like, yeah. this, this is, this is. 15 cents you know yeah. you're just throwing around cds like yeah, this yeah. is nothing it's all about the content yeah so. yeah yeah it does it's true yeah the, what's the cd well what's on it yeah. you know like doesn't so they 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 was extremely profitable but yeah they sold at a loss and it was a big risk because up until that point see their plan was their original plan was that they wanted the 360 to be eight to ten year life cycle and they figured that they could do that with online gaming. Mm-hmm. So that was their big gamble. Yeah, and you, you know, sorry to interrupt, but like something like thinking about that, it, it didn't make sense to me why they didn't have, hadn't come out with a console before this. Yeah. But it does make sense now that you know that they're making the loss you know, yeah. by so much that why would they want to every, you know, every five years lose, you know, yeah. so much money when they can sell one console you know, granted they make different versions of them, which I'm yeah. sure cost less. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, so yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it makes sense that it was bad business back mm-hmm. then, you yeah. know, other than for like Nintendo or something like that. But because they, they made the consoles be kind of at the time, at least break even, you know. And so in the article, they even said that they at the end of the day, throughout the 10 years, they broke even on hardware. But that's all they wanted to do because everything else is profit. You know, everything after that is profit. Mm-hmm. So that, that 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 makes a lot of sense. And that was really, see, that's what I'm saying. I I think that the 360 will go down as a better console than the PS3 because it, it's just it, it was so innovative. It brought it ushered in so many new things that are now standard, especially with like Xbox Live and how that works and having they had apps on their on their in, on the 360 before phones did you know what i mean like they 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 innovated all that stuff and so it, it was a big push push forward and i think the legacy will be it'll be a top five console of all time and that's like again it's not that we're fanboys i mean the ps2 was better than the xbox the ps2 <laughs> was the best of that generation as far as what it did but right i mean i don't i don't know if you look at the 360 it's it it kind of molded the new gaming and then and it, just to prove that the ps4 copied their formula you know and now it's taking over <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and and then the xbox, the xbox one was like <laughs> and, the xbox one, and then they they did stupid shit and then you know what i mean like so it's just it makes sense 
But yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so last topic of the day, we're shifting over. You know, we usually we do movie stuff too every now. Especially and then. when big movies that we care about are coming out. Yeah, when it's you know like comic book related or stuff like, like yeah, that. Yeah, when Avengers movie, when the next Marvel cinematic movie comes out, we'll probably talk about it. Mm-hmm. We'll probably talk about something about Deadpool when that comes out. Yeah. Well. Oh, for sure. Um. So Star Wars is coming out. Everybody knows. Everybody in their mom knows mm-hmm. that the new Star Wars is coming out. And as uh, if you guys didn't know, Lucas is no longer. He sold the Star Wars franchise and a which, bunch of stuff. For granted, four, he sold it a while ago. Three years ago, right? For four billion dollars. Good money, good money. <laughs> four billion, man. That's the magic number. It seems like. Yeah, but anyways, now he's saying that he doesn't like the direction that Disney's going with the movie. And then, for himself, not that it's a bad direction per per se in the article. Granted, yeah. that's what the article made it seem like. Yeah. But when you actually get into the article, it was more that you know he sees where they're going with it, and that's not what he wanted. Yeah, that's not his original vision. So my question is, who do you agree with here? Not not that there's like a disagreement, but more like who do you side with, Disney or Lucas? Well, let's let's go into a little bit, okay? So they know what we're. All right, go ahead, with. go ahead. All right. So basically, um, Disney had approached Lucas, and they said that he they wanted the next Star Wars movie uh-huh. to be more for the fans. Yeah. Uh, Lucas had, I guess, brought up his draft or whatever he wanted, and they, it was his his vision, everything he wanted the Star Wars movie to be. Yeah. And they didn't agree with it. Yeah. They wanted it more for fans, which I'm assuming means more explosions. You know, that's usually when when directors say like that's not what they wanted is you know they, they wanted to add more stuff like you know stuff like that like get rid of the story sometimes you know yeah that's what it made it seem like yeah i think you're you're right that that's what it usually is but then that doesn't make sense to me because that's mm-hmm. that's what the prequel trilogy right right is. right but we're not wait because <laughs> uh, this is what george lucas is basically saying uh, he doesn't like he wants the the, the, the story to be more dramatic uh-huh. It's a soap opera, is what he described. It yeah, as, you know. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm assuming he means. He doesn't want this like hyper action movie. You know? Yeah, that's which is what he. I guess he sees as, a, as what it's going to become. Yeah. Granted, I don't see that. I see the movie. opposite. Exactly. Yeah. Um. So far, uh, a lot of especially J.J. Abrams movies. Granted, a lot of them are very flash. Some of them are flashy. Yeah. But I, I think for the most part, the core story has been extremely well good for all of them. Yeah, and I mean, right? He didn't write the story, so I don't, but the direction he yeah, the does. direction of it. I mean, that's just as important as what the story says. I guess too. I guess, I guess what what I would say is the fan for the fans to me means Harrison Ford, you know, Carrie, Carrie Fisher, Fisher, Chewbacca. Yeah, like that's fans. That's not what, Jar Jar Binks. Not, no. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. So like, <laughs> I, I think that's where the disagreement. Was like maybe maybe his original vision wasn't to continue. Although I know that I've of course I've heard that like you know Jason Solo like but the the, the old canon of mm-hmm. that it continues with uh, Han and Leia's yeah, he, children. Yeah, he, he says that he wants the story to continue. It's a story about of son, father, and grandfather. Yeah, like sons and father. He said sons. He's, thank you. He yes. said like this is soap opera. It's about sons and fathers and grandfathers. But the irony of it all to me is that. The prequel trilogy is is a more of a pew 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 mm-hmm. fest than anything about real soul, you know, about the the relationships between fathers and sons, you know, like it's. I mean, I, I see, mean, I see to, him they trying. Add, they to add, do, they like, you know, the you could have been, you could have been the chosen. You're supposed to be the chosen one. You yeah, know? well, one, you know, thirty seconds out of <laughs> <laughs> out of every every half an out hour out of six hundred minutes yeah. is not like. Yeah, like, I don't, I, of course, in the original, you see that strand. Of course, you see the strand of father and son and the relationships that drive forward generations. But in the prequel trilogy, you don't see that. So I don't understand. I mean, you do get Darth Maul. You get the epic lightsaber fights, which were more epic than the, even the original, you know? Yeah. You get the epic spaceships. I mean, you know, that's what fans want. And he gave it to them, but now he wants to change it up. And now fans want something different. See, but is that but what... I guess they don't... Not the... I don't know. Is, is, that don't what fan, is that what fans wanted? Is that what fans wanted? See, what I think of what fans want is... I think that fans want, like, the little things. 
Like if well, in a Marvel movie, like the when they say the fans, I'm talking about like the real fans. Like they want to see like a little picture of some random character that they only they would know mm-hmm. or something. That to me, that's fan service. That's and they do the, do that often. Yeah, they do do that because then that's why they're good movies. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what fans want. I don't see as fans wanting just more explosions, mm-hmm. and I think that's what all the fucking like the fans that come afterwards want. Like right? The, you know, like. And I mean, a lot of people are gonna be like, I mean, granted, we don't know the movie hasn't come out yet, but I don't know if Lucas could have made. I don't know what I would have thought if Lucas made new ones. You know? Yeah. Just because I obviously the bad taste in your mouth for the prequels. Yeah, I, I just think that he was uninspired. I, that's what it comes down to. I mean, I, dude, I, we 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 in no way are here saying like fuck Lucas because mm. because he made the original Star Wars, and no matter what the circumstances were, he was the brainchild of it. And I honestly think that he just did the second trilogy for money, dude. Like, I, I mean, it's it sounds bad to say, mm-hmm. but I just he was uninspired. He didn't want to do it. If he if he wanted to do it. He would have done this so much, like, you know, longer before the time. It took him, like, fucking almost 20 mm-hmm. years to get the next one out, you know? But, you know, I mean, granted, you know, a lot of people are going to be like Disney. that They're just milking it. Like, that's what That's they true, too. Okay, that's the other part of the argument. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you're right about that. So, it's, I don't know, but then, it, is it Disney or are you going to say J.J. Abrams, you know, like? I'm guessing Disney has a lot of say. Yes. Like, if they, they have... If, <laughs> If George Lucas was, was like okay with letting it go, you know that they have a lot of power. Yeah. Like he wouldn't just let it go for anyone. Yeah. You know what I mean? He didn't. Yeah. He wouldn't be like, oh yeah, do whatever you want with my series I created. Well, a if you like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is Disney, mm-hmm. then um, I don't see why why they would fuck this up. Yeah. I mean, if you asked me maybe ten years ago, I would have said like, yeah, <laughs> it's just like you know. The, the bad corporation taking over and right just and it, it could it. still be that but at least yeah. it seems like they're 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 not gonna mess it up too much yet we'll see you know what we'll and then we'll have a, a full discussion mm-hmm. about it after the movie comes mm-hmm. out <laughs> so we'll we'll see how it goes but yeah in general i would say i'm more with disney on here i i Pretty think much. i think that they'll they'll do a better job than lucas did with the prequel trilogy mm-hmm. but not and, as uh, good as a job as with the original as, yeah and not as good as a job as the original lucas trilogy. yeah but know? i mean i don't know if we could still see that lucas like i don't know if that lucas is still there for that you know yeah i don't know if he can uh like obviously he, like it's one of those things like he could he can never do that again no he it's it, i just honestly think it's not in him anymore mm-hmm. like back then he was desperately trying to be successful you know still making his way in the world he had one successful movie still people didn't believe in him like there there there's you know they say uh what's the saying about art is made out of pain and suffering and like mm-hmm. desperation and when you're four billion dollars rich even <laughs> though he donated a, a lot of the money right, but, but he's rich you know mm-hmm. i just don't i don't think you have that creative drive there's nothing that pushes you toward it it's like know? when you're working towards a job once you get the job it's not yeah it's like okay yeah i got the job we're good <laughs> yeah you know? at least a lot of people are i think like that. yeah i mean some people are just extraordinary mm-hmm. and, and yeah. can still go and, on but but like that isn't the common <laughs> that that isn't a common thing no. or else that wouldn't seem extraordinary exactly that's why uh my last example to flesh that out would be with sports with sports stars every every common joe like me every time you hear about a story about like a a basketball player who's out all night and didn't get any sleep and he's playing terrible the next game he's like man if man if i was a fucking sports star for a living i would i would be working out every morning every day every morning and and like you know no you wouldn't because Every, we're all human, you know, and we get comfortable. Now, of course, there's all those special people like Jordan who will do that, and that's why, like he, he said, then, do that. Yeah, and like, and that's why he's special, you know. That's and there's why, some that's people that can do, not, not be, you know, like Jordan, and you know, do all that and still be good, you know. <laughs> they can still be good, but not as good as Jordan. Right, right. That's exactly. the thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but you know, then, but there, I mean, there's just some people that, like. The common thing, like the common Joes, won't even get to where they are. Yeah, you know. But yeah, guys, 
Thank you. Thanks for joining us on this week's Nerds with Glasses podcast. <laughs> we'll be back next week, and hopefully after the movie comes out, we'll, we'll have a discussion about it. Yeah, probably after Christmas though, like after that whole thing. Yes. <laughs> after time with family and everything. But yeah. Forget the family now. <laughs> you guys are a family. Yes. All right, guys. We'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace.